Thank you to Wargaming for sponsoring this video. World of Tanks is a free-to-play online game featuring a huge arsenal of historically authentic tanks that you can modify, upgrade, and take command of in massive battles. You can rush aggressively, hang back and support your team, or pick off enemies from afar. Each tank has their own unique set of characteristics. New players can click the link in the description and register using code TANKMANIA to receive the Excelsior Tier 5 Premium British Heavy Tank. Seven days of premium accounts benefits, 250,000 credits, and three rental tanks. Let's say, hypothetically, you click that suspicious link while navigating a bootleg Polish pirating website trying to torrent a 240p copy of Top Gear Series 19, alerting a nearby French Charles Leclerc main battle tank of your activities. Its attention has now been diverted towards the total evisceration of your computer from existence. The main battle tank shows up at your doorstep within seconds and is now surveying your computer for structural weaknesses to exploit. What do you do in this situation? Do you call 112? Do you get the Choban composite reactive armor from the basement and prepare for the worst? Do you run away with your computer and enact the scorched earth policy? Don't be foolish. There is no time for cocking about in this situation. Look into the abyss of those cruel, spiteful eyes. The Leclerc knows no fear. It can only see fear. It can smell your hesitation. It can hear your anxiety. It can taste the fight-or-flight response happening inside you, and it's beginning to look more like flight than fight. This is the malicious face of one who demands absolutely no association with any concept of morals. To it, the Geneva Convention is merely the Geneva Suggestion. There is no telling what it will do next. Who knows what dirty tricks it has up its sleeve? Trench guns, mustard gas, a vial of poison around its neck in case it gets captured. A plan to spit up and massacre your army in one decisive cavalry charge. All we know is that it will stop at nothing to facilitate the fateful reunion between your computer and a 7kg two-stage long rod tungsten kinetic penetrator. Indeed, this is the descendant of Emperor Napoleon himself, and it will launch an offensive campaign against your computer with the speed, efficiency, and military prowess that the Blitzkrieg has wet dreams about. Does this sound like someone who has mercy? Do you think it will give you a centimeter of breathing room? No! Our only hope of surviving is to rely on our sharp wits to quickly survey the situation and accordingly formulate a plan. So let's get to it! I hope you've kept up with your main battle tanks reading, because there are several critical pieces of information we should be able to identify from this menacing silhouette alone. We know that the Leclerc is armed with an auto-loading 120mm model F1 Giant CN120-2652 smoothbore gun, firing DM-43 armor, piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot rounds, which can penetrate more than 560mm of rolled homogeneous armor at a range of 2,000 meters at a velocity of 1,740 meters per second. Your computer, on the other hand, has no armament of any kind, and its thin armor can only protect against limited small firearms at best, not a 120mm APFSTS round to the face, which is a problem. So what if we unarmored it? True. Your computer has an armor profile that forces the perpendicular projectile impact optimal for ceramic armor. But your computer would probably punch a hole in the ground due to the weight of 8 inches of steel welded to it. Also, the sheer kinetic energy of a 7 kg tungsten projectile moving at almost 2000 meters per second impacting your computer would most likely cause it to simply cease to exist. So this is out of the question. The Leclerc is propelled by an 8-cylinder diesel engine producing 1500 horsepower allowing it to reach cross-country speeds of 55 km per hour and can track your computer over a range of 650 km with the use of external fuse tanks. So taking your computer and running also won't work. You are not William Sherman. Do not attempt any scorched earth tactics. You would probably burn down your own computer in the process. Given this information, we realize that defensive tactics are impractical. We will thus take an offensive position and eliminate the enemy ourselves. The Leclerc was designed to withstand multiple impacts by various weaponry over a 60-degree frontal arc. Therefore, as long as the Leclerc is facing you, which it will be, in order to theoretically penetrate this armor, 
we must use the proper ordinances. These include the most modern iterations of long rod AFPSDS rounds, which use a kinetic energy penetrator rod made of depleted uranium and can penetrate over 700 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor, or even tandem charge anti-tank guided missiles, which detonate in two stages and can penetrate more than 1,000. Almost enough to get something through your thick skull. The only problem with these proposed solutions is that most people do not just leave tandem charge warheads and depleted uranium rods lying around the house. Without these necessities, those layers of composite ceramic armor plates and reactive modules make the Leclerc virtually invulnerable, unless we found a way to bypass them altogether. I can already identify a weakness. Can you? Of course. Most modern main battle tanks lack protection in the roof area. It just so happens that the Leclerc fits this exact description. The roof does not have the raw armor thickness of other more critical areas such as around the cannon breach and gunner sites. Due to its extreme slope, any shots that land there will certainly ricochet regardless of normal thickness. Thus, the roof armor of the tank is made relatively thin to save weight. This will be the Leclerc's fatal flaw and ultimate undoing. So how do we exploit this weakness? Do we climb up there and hit it with a hammer with speed and power? We have a more sophisticated solution up our sleeves. Hesh ammunition. Unlike conventional kinetic energy penetrators, high explosive squash head shells rely on a malleable warhead that deforms upon impact, creating a part of plastic explosive that spreads across the surface. The base fuse then detonates this part, causing internal spalling across a large area, on the same slope that would cause APFSDS rounds to ricochet or shatter like its fragile ego. Hesh shells will successfully detonate and cause a shockwave of destruction out of the sheer energy of how based it is in not giving a single toss about armor slope. So how do we acquire Hesh ammunition? Most people don't just keep random tank shells lying around. Don't worry if this is you. We will now put your baguette stash to good use. The oblong shape, soft sensual texture and delicate crust of a pristine baguette resembles the components of a Hesh shell. All that is missing is the shell filling. If we were to somehow give our baguette explosive properties, we would have ourselves a magnifique high explosive squash head round. We will now do exactly this. Hollow out the baguette, then insert a delayed action base fuse. Next, fill the rest of the space with plastic explosive, leaving room at the top for inert filling cap. Then cut the baguette in two pieces to separate the shell and shell casing. For legal reasons, I have to tell you not to do what I just did. But it is up to you to decide whether or not you want to follow that advice when there is a Leclerc waiting at your front door. We now have one Hesh shell that is ready to fire. Since barrel rifling allows the shell to spin and disperse the plastic explosive filling over a greater area, we will retrieve the Royal Ordnance L30A1 120mm rifle gun emplacement we have conveniently stored in the basement. Now observe as the Hesh round detonates on the Leclerc and liberates our computer from harm.